Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm bringing you Destiny 2. Now, obviously, we're going to be talking about the Lord of Wolves Catalyst that dropped. Now, it's really funny to me because I ended up getting it on my first Crucible match, if I remember correctly. Either Crucible match or Gambit match. I don't remember where I got it, but I ended up getting it and I started giggling because I was like, oh no, like I, I definitely don't need to be using this gun. So it made me laugh, but let's let's see what it actually drops with. So... For me, I like it a lot because it's going to make you actually use Lord of Wolves without release the wolves active at all times because let me just read the perks. So increases reload speed while release the wolves is active and increases stability when it is not. So when you're not using release the wolves, you actually get a bump in stability. I do not know how much, but it is noticeable, at least for me. But if let's say you're just rock and release the wolves all the time, you do get a massive bump in reload speed. Now, I will note that when you do reload, I'm pretty sure this is a bug because it happens almost like three times out of five times when I'm trying to reload because when I reload, it'll immediately reload again and it's annoying as fuck. So I don't know if that's a bug or that's just my R button being stupid, but yeah, I, I love this. It's, it's fucking fire. I love it. I absolutely love this. This is a lot of fun. So if you guys seen the background footage, I'm just aping it with it and... I can only imagine this with a Titan. Oh, uh, uh, I can only imagine this with a Titan. I haven't done it yet. I'm going to do it at one point. But yeah, Lord of Wolves is super good right now because the reload speed on it is actually very noticeable. If you guys see in the background, you guys will see the reload speed of both Lord of Wolves when Release the Wolves is active and when it's not. It for To me, in my opinion, it's very noticeable. The other thing you guys will see in the background is the stability comparison to when release the wolves is acting and when it's not i usually don't do these things but i kind of want to make these videos a little bit better uh more quality so if you guys like it comment down below like the video and everything all that shit. but in my opinion this is probably one of the best best things that this gun could have got now is it the best thing that it could have gotten for sure probably not no i just said it's the best thing but i think I think it could have gotten something else more. It's, the stability, I think it should have been across all, like both uh, Release the Wolves and without Release the Wolves active because, not because of uh, PC players, but because of PC, like console players. I feel like they would need it more than we do. But ultimately, I like it. It's not anything game breaking, it's just a reload bump and a stability bump. And that's probably why they didn't do anything crazy with it. Because Lord of Wolves is actually still stupid. Like, people just immediately thought, oh, Lord of Wolves got nerfed. It's dead. It's not really dead. Like, if you guys see, I just kill a Warlock off of his super with it. Like, it still kills supers. Like, it's still massively just stupid. I've actually gotten teabagged with it when I was trying to get footage of this. So, this gun is still, is still stupid, but... It's just not as stupid as it used to be. So don't sleep on it, guys. This gun's still good. It's a lot of fun, especially with the catalyst. The catalyst, oh my god, the catalyst makes it a lot more fun in my opinion. And in general, will I be using this more? Yeah, I definitely will. Especially that Eververse is selling the sexiest fucking ornament I've ever seen for a gun. Like you could say what you want. I love this. I love it. It's so good. Not only that, but you guys will see in the background that I do get some headshots with the the new uh, Solar Blade. I think it's really fun. I thought I was going to have issues with it, but ultimately it's pretty easy to get the headshots, but it is kind of hard at the same time. It's really weird to explain. Like in the air, I can get it. In When I'm not in the air, that's when it's a little bit more difficult in my opinion. But yeah, in general, I this is going to be a fast one because I don't have much to say about it. Uh, Lord of Wolves is amazing. I loved it a lot. When I saw that the Catalyst was dropping, I got really excited. And lo and behold, I got it on my first try. And I was like, yes! And the way I usually level up these type of like, oh, you have to kill a certain amount is I go to the Whisper mission. And I just immediately turned my brain off. I ended up watching a bunch of uh, Destiny 2 videos. And that's, yeah, I killed like an hour just doing that. Probably not even an hour, like 30 minutes probably. So I can't even tell you off the top of my head how many kills it was. I don't have like GG on right now, but it's probably like around 150 to 200 maybe. I'm not, I'm spitballing, but it's not that hard, guys. It, if you guys can get this, get it. It's for sure worth it. 
I'm probably going to be doing a review of the Black Talon Catalyst because I ended up getting that as well. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Catalyst. Do you guys think Lord of Wolves needed it? I personally don't think it needed it, but I'm not going to say no to it. Ultimately, I love it. I love this gun. And, yeah, let me know what you guys, let me know what your thoughts are about the Catalyst. Let me know what you guys think about Crucible in general. And yeah, uh, if you guys want to follow me on social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you guys later.